everyone who must have wanted to see more of that unmistakable chemistry between Kim Dami and Che Wushi in the movie The Witch, this drama comes as their wish come true. Or is it only me who thinks that way? <laughs> anyway, these two look lovely together. And a small intro before we dig into our beloved summer. A warm welcome to everyone. I am Ria. Thank you for landing on my channel and this video. Thank you to everyone who subscribed to my channel and to those who haven't. Guys, please, please, please click on the subscribe button and the bell icon beside it. Please share your feedback, any suggestions or questions you may have in the comments or you can also email them to me. And with that, let's get on with today's video. Our Beloved Summer is a romantic comedy starring Kim Dami and Che Woshik in the lead roles. The story follows Kuk Yoon Soo and Che Young who are school going teenagers and star in a documentary series on them as students. Being on opposite ends of the academic spectrum, you mostly witness them bickering or causing trouble. However, with time, they grow on each other and start dating. After five years of dating and multiple complications, they eventually fall apart. However, as destiny would have it, years later, they are reunited to star again in a follow-up documentary. And as you may have guessed it already, they eventually manage to resolve their differences and start dating again. This drama is filled with emotional scenes, romance, comedy, patch-ups, breakups, and manages to keep you hooked till the end. Having brilliant actors like Kim Dami and Che Wushik is a big plus. They look so cute and adorable together. Also, as I keep pointing this out in K-dramas, love is shown in a very realistic way. One more endearing thing that I find in K-dramas is that former lovers are not all desperate to be in the next relationship. And the way I interpret it is, the characters would rather remain single than compromise with just anyone to be in a romantic relationship. This drama boasts of a great plot, amazing cinematography, superb actors and an equally amazing direction. You know where the story is heading but the way it just feels unbearable at times and at one point of time I was just like come on fess up you idiots. You are sure to feel the love and the pain alongside the characters and the entire journey feels even more personal as you grow fond of them. One more distinct feature about this drama is that every episode is named after a popular film, such as Before Sunset, 10 Things I Hate About You, 500 Days of Summer, and Our Indian Three Idiots Also Finding Its Pride of Place. Actors Che Wushik and Kim Dami never cease to amaze us with the versatile roles they play in films and dramas. They incredibly look their parts, be it as troublemaking teenagers or their more mature grown selves. It's honestly a pleasure watching them time and again and I couldn't be happier seeing them play lovers in this drama. I so wanted this drama to just go on and on and hated to see it end. Additionally, it would be unfair to not mention the equally superb supporting cast in this drama. It's also them who keep us interested with their comedy or emotional scenes which are equally relevant to the central plot. This may primarily fall in the rom-com genre, but there's lots more going on. This drama touches upon abandonment, adoption, loneliness, and also celebrity abuse on social media. There are different facets to the plot, and love has been shown as an eventuality rather than an all-consuming affair. The very realistic approach to love in this story is something that many will be able to relate to. All in all, this slice of life drama will keep you asking for more and also prove to be one that can be enjoyed by one and all. And that's it from my end, you guys. Please share your thoughts and opinions with me. Also, this is a request from my end, you guys. Please, please, please share any drama recommendations that you have for me. The last one and the only one that I've had till now is the Red Sleeve and I have loved it thoroughly, like even more than words can convey. Also, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you agree with my views. Stay smiling, keep watching K-dramas, try remaining as positive as you can all the time and... Sorry, hey.